From St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. Good day. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from an anonymous donor from Delta, British Columbia. She offers this Mass in memory of her husband and in thanksgiving for all favors received. Our thanks go out to you in Delta, B.C. for the gift of this Mass. And on behalf of all the faithful who are gathered, I thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. We gather to celebrate our faith and today the special solemnity of our church, the Annunciation of the Lord. To do that in a proper manner, let us ask for reconciliation and for peace. So with joy in, our word, in the Word made flesh, let us call to Manuel. Lord Jesus, you are the Word of God, spoken at creation's dawn, Lord of mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Son of Mary, made flesh for our salvation, Christ of mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God, one forever with your Father, Lord of mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, your word became man and was born of the Virgin Mary. May we become more like Jesus Christ, whom we acknowledge as our Redeemer, God and man. We ask this for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask a sign of the Lord your God, that it be deep as shoal or high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, and I'll not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary mortals that you weary my God also? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the young woman is with child and shall bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. For God is with us. The word of the Lord. In the 
scroll of the book, it is written of me. I delight to do your will, oh my God. Your law is within my heart. Here am I, Lord. I come to do your will. I have told the glad news of deliverance in the great congregation. See, I have not restrained my lips, as you Came flesh and dwelt among us, and we saw his glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born of you, 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 the child to be born of